Can you believe we've only got one episode left of Season 3 of From? This season has absolutely flown by, and judging by the preview trailer that we received, it looks like it's going to be an eventful season finale. With Fatima looking like she's going to be giving birth, us hopefully finding out for certain why it was that Tabitha was seeing what happened to Miranda at the end of Episode 9, and Jade also playing the violin by the bottle tree. Will this season go out with a bang and provide some answers? Well, I thought it was worth breaking down the trailer and also giving my theories and predictions on what I think will happen in the season finale. So, let's get into it. Here is from Season 3, Episode 10, Trailer Explained and Theories. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. So, the trailer opened up and it very much looked like the group had found out that Elgin had been behind the kidnapping of Fatima. This happened as they were stopping him from going down the stairs in Colony House, most likely back en route to the cellar to check up on Fatima. I think the finding out of Elgin being responsible could have been revealed to them in a couple of different ways. The first is that Ellis could have just been suspicious over the way that Elgin had been acting whilst they were on their search for Fatima, and it might have made him just pin it on him and hope that he was right. Or the fact that Sarah was there alongside Boyd and Donna, it makes me think that maybe she heard some more voices and was spoken to again, as she was the one who originally knew that Fatima had been taken and that she was close by, because the town spoke to her. So maybe with Fatima going into labor and the creatures, Kimono Lady, and town no longer having a use for Elgin, they might just give him up to Sarah. Elgin said the line, once the baby is born, we all get to go home. This is obviously gonna be a lie. I can't see a world where the kimono lady hasn't been playing Elgin to get what she wanted, which was to make sure that the baby was nurtured whilst it was inside of her in the latter stages of the pregnancy. I feel like Elgin will tell the group where Fatima was kept and she'll most probably be gone. This could be because she'll be in the underground bunker that's below the cellar. This most likely means that Elgin will be held accountable for his actions and put under arrest and it might be where he'll realize that he's been lied to by the kimono lady, and they're no closer to getting out of the town. This is where I also think a line of dialogue from later on in the trailer is going to take place. Sarah said the line, This place, it doesn't give, it takes. And this is where I feel the group are going to be trying to get information, and then once he says the line about being able to go home, she'll respond with that. Prior to that happening in the trailer, though, there was a scene where Father Cutry was talking to Boyd, Katri has appeared a couple of times in this season, and it's mainly been to Boyd as a vision. The first time was in the first episode of Season 3, so it feels right that he's going to appear in front of Boyd in the final one. Katri said the line, You need to decide right now who you are. I think this could be referring to the way that he's approaching the town, whether he's going to be a loyal father-in-law in protecting Fatima and putting his family above the town or if he'll be the leader that the townspeople need and realize that he can't put his family above all others if they've done wrong. After that, there was a scene of Victor and Henry together, and I feel after the Tarzan analogy that Jade gave Henry about Victor, I think Henry will be more accepting of Victor and his ways in the finale, as Victor will hopefully come to realize that the death of his mother wasn't actually his own fault. There was also a shot of Jim that followed the line of Sarah saying about how the town takes. I'm wondering if Jim may end up dying in this episode. He's not had that large of an involvement in this season of the show, and he kind of had a bit of a redemption in the most recent episode, where he made amends with Tabitha, gave Ethan advice, and was actually there for his family. It looks like he's gonna be in the forest, so what if he's in the forest where those creatures that have only been mentioned in passing reside, and he could come face to face with one? There is a press photo of Jim going to speak with Jade and a drawing of the dolls being present, so I'm wondering if that's what might drive him there. The next part of the trailer was pure Rosemary's baby vibes. All of the creatures were standing in a line surrounding somebody. I'm presuming that this is going to be Fatima, and they're going to be standing there watching her giving birth. It's been said that the baby isn't hers, and we were under the impression that it was for the kimono lady. But I feel the baby could be for all of the creatures, because it could ultimately be for the town. Within Rosemary's baby, all of the demonic entities surrounded Rosemary as she had her baby, and they ultimately took it away. I think the same thing is going to happen here. Fatima is going to give birth to some kind of creature, a creature that could well be the replacement for the smiley creature, as that was the last one that died. That does then beg the question on what they will do with Fatima once she's had the baby. Personally, I feel like they'll kill her once she's delivered the baby. And that will tie back to Sarah's line, the town takes, it doesn't give. So once they've taken what they've wanted, they won't give anything back to her. 
the chance of freedom, or even her life. So this could well be the end of Fatima, something which would be quite sad. The next part of the trailer was then Christy talking to Marielle and asking if she was okay. She responded by saying, no, I don't think any of us are going to be. This then cut to Randall by the ambulance and he looked as though he was in severe pain where we have to imagine he's hearing the insects flying around. Randall seems to be experiencing the hallucinations and pain the most, so I'm wondering why it is. After this, we saw Fatima screaming in pain and this is where she's most definitely going to be giving birth. One of the last shots that we saw was Jade and Tabitha by the faraway tree and Jade had his violin there and he appeared to be playing it. Once he concluded, there was a look of shock on both of their faces. I wonder if Jade could potentially be seeing Miranda in front of him and she might say something to him. Something of importance. We know that Jade has the ability to see people that once resided in the town. The last thing that he saw was Christopher and Jasper, but with Tabitha being in front of him and it alluding to the fact that Tabitha was the reincarnation of Miranda, could Miranda actually appear? I'm presuming he's playing the violin because the numbers within the bottles could potentially translate into musical notes. And if he follows the specific pattern, then the tune that he plays might provide some kind of information. That's what I'm thinking at the moment as I don't really see any other reason for it. The final part of the trailer then had Boyd walking through the tunnels and there was a line that was spoken over the top of this scene where it said, You said you weren't going to let this place break you. This place has won. I feel this could be Boyd going down and searching for Fatima, and as he's searching, he's going to find the creatures all standing there, holding this newborn baby creature, the thing that he believed was going to be his grandchild, and Fatima could well be dead. This would be such a haunting, powerful image for Boyd to see, and I think that would quite literally cause him to break. The creatures enjoy not hurting Boyd because they much prefer tormenting him, and that's why I reckon they'd allow him to live. The season started with him seeing somebody he cared about dying, Tian Shen, and I think it will end like that too, with it being Fatima. As you can see, there are still so many different directions that this season finale could go in, and these are just my predictions as of now. I'm so excited to see what revelations are actually going to occur in the episode, which is promising it because of the title being Revelations Part 2. All we can do now is theorize and wait, and just hope that Season 3 will go out with the loudest of crescendos. So, there you have it, from Season 3 Episode 10, Trailer Explained and Theories. If you want to see more videos on From Season 3, then click on the card in the top corner. There's an entire playlist there. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. How do you think Season 3 will end? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, thanks for tuning into the video and I'll see you in the next one.